Ryan with GameRoomSolutions.com and today I want to show you our Bar Top Arcade Kit. It comes with all the pre-cut wood that you see there as well as the controls so you'll get 15 buttons. You can choose whatever colors you want. Uh, you can upgrade them to LED buttons. comes with the two joysticks. Uh, for the wood, it'll just save you time because all the wood's pre-cut so you can just put the wood together. You'll have to use your own screws. Um, you can slot for T-molding if you want to add T-molding. I went ahead and uh, went to Lowe's, got a couple just aluminum, uh, I guess like L brackets here for five bucks and then painted those black. Uh, I got the plexiglass and I had Lowe's cut that. I think it was like 12 bucks for everything that you need. Uh, the one thing I'll say that's different on this, I went ahead and added two additional buttons here uh, on the top of mine for a one and a two player. So you can of course add buttons. You could add a power button on the side if you wanted to. And just to show you here, I don't have the back of it on. But I'm actually running, if you can see that, a Raspberry Pi 2. Um, and then my monitor, it does come with the pre-cut for VESA. You'll just have to put some screws in your monitor to mount it. This is a 19-inch monitor that's in here. So just to show you an emulation station here, I'm going to go ahead and go into MAME. Uh, this is where my forward and my backwards are enter and exit. So you can see here, I can control it. Uh, page up, page down. If I want to, so I'll just uh, pick a game here. There we go. So Donkey Kong, hit enter. See that? Boot it up. This is my coin. And then I can hit my one player. So you can see if it'll start up here. So you can see uh, that there's no buttons. So then, of course, just exit out. We'll go back to my... Uh, back to emulation station. I can back out of this if I want to. So here's some of the different systems I have set up on here. Uh, with the newer version of RetroPie, there's actually a settings menu in there. It's where you can show your IP address, configure controls. A lot of the stuff you had to do in command line before. Uh, so just to show you one more thing here, I'll go ahead and hit Nintendo. Same thing, I can page down if I want to. And the one and two player do work. Uh, visit GameRoomSolutions.com. We have full setup guides on how to do this emulation station and um, hyperspin if you decide to do that as well as to put all this in. I'll have how I set up the controls for this thing. Uh, so I'll just hit one of these. As you can see there, got my game. I set these up for my start button and this for my select here. see there I'm controlling the game if I want to or whatever if I want to go out I also have this for the emulators if I hold down this button I can do some other features um, for instance if I hold it let me see if I can do it with one hand if I hold it and push up you can see there it'll turn up the volume same thing if I hit down it'll turn down the volume I can save where I'm at here or load that where there so if you're so far in Mario Brothers you can hold this button and hit that and save or just load right as you start and it'll load in that spot as well. And then I can hold this down and just hit the red button it'll exit right back out. So again I'll have a link um, if you're interested in purchasing one of these kits again it, it will save you a lot of time in putting this together. I'll have links on how to set it all up in the software. There's links how to connect up the buttons, how to do the LED buttons. Uh, drop a comment if you have a question. If not visit GameRoomSolutions.com. Thank you.